Welcome! Uh, today we're going to be looking at a bunch of other uh, fun public domain stuff. We're going to be looking at another episode of this this uh, game show, Queen for a Day, which we watched um, a week or so ago, which is a very dystopian show from the 50s and 60s in which a, typically a woman, I think they did have specials where they did King for a Day, but in, in the Queen for a Day episodes, typically four women will come on the show and they'll be asked what they want. And you'd think it'd be like, oh, I want to go to Hawaii, or oh, I want a, I want a new car. No, it's like, my child has a disease, and we would really like to buy the medication, sir. And then each one of them gives their spiel on what they need, and then by the end of the episode, they have, by a show of applause, the audience decides which woman gets the, the, the thing that they need. Um, and it's pretty horrifying. So we'll probably watch a little bit of that. Give us Reefer Madness? That's gotta be its own special episode, right? It's gotta be. We, of course, just have the Public Domain Archive, which will probably take a look at some stuff from there. We have some educational films um, from uh, 50s, 60s, stuff like that. We have some stuff from the World's Fair, which were pretty big. Um, and yeah, other stuff. I also didn't get a chance to eat lunch yet, so you're gonna have to watch me eat Hot Pockets. I, I, I apologize for you having to listen to me eat Hot Pockets on stream, but it's my lunch, so that's what I'm going to have. Thank you. Uh, I missed some stuff. Thank you to do, 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 Nimnix for continuing your subscription with a five-month streak. Um, and yeah, I think that's the only thing I missed. Cool. They put animals in tiny cages. The woman got a very scared cat. Yeah, in the first episode, one of the prizes was a cat, and it was in the little cage, and it looked very sad. Is the Reefer mu Madness musical public? I don't think so. So anyway, let's get to the stuff. I don't really know what else, you know, there's not a lot of preamble to this show. There's not a lot of frills and bells and whistles we're just gonna get to it <laughs> let's start with queen for a day like i said this is a horrifying dystopian tv show um and we're gonna enjoy it it's okay don't worry even though a lot of these people um are There's going through horrifying things in this show um they're probably dead now so it's fine that is here royal Read it. Daddy Sume with a link. Let me look at this real quick. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to Reefer Madness. I don't know. Capitalism. Oh, Cold Stare. Thank you for gifting five subs. Much appreciated. Imperial? There's nothing Morgan. funny about the tools of capitalism. <laughs> Majestic. You know something, there just isn't any better way to put it than Would you like to be queen for a day? There's nothing Once again from Hollywood's great Moulin Rouge Theater Restaurant Pan American Coffee Bureau who says On a break, make it coffee, make it often, make it right I feel like it's unsafe to put people in a costume where they can't have access to their arms. What if they There's fall over? The <laughs> um, did I miss anything? No. no. X lax, the laxity that helps you towards your normal regularity gently overnight, and heart. X lax gets gets uh you know uh it's a sponsor on every episode of this we watched so far. Did people in the fifties just have a lot of constipation or what? Mountain, the pet product for happier, healthier pets. Proudly present Queen for Today, the Cinderella show, starring the one and only King of Queen for Today, Mr. Jack Bailey. Thank you very much. Hey. I slipped past the word imperial in this dictionary a minute ago. I shouldn't have because it reminds me that our gold imperial from Chrysler is waiting outside the Moulin Rouge. And it's waiting to take today's queen on a really big day in movie land. She has to be one of the four candidates that we'll be meeting on our show today. And we'll say hello to number one in just a moment. But first, keeping your cat playful as a kitten is easy. To tell you how, here's a word about Hearts Mountain. <laughs> now, here's a happy cat. 
Can we get more ads in 2020 with just dudes and it just fades in out from black and it's just him petting a cat? I will take your entire stock. What he's so happy about? Why, brand new Heart Mountain Cat Yummy. You know, giving your cat or kitten a few yummies between meals is just about the nicest thing you can do for him. That's because new cat yummies are tempting little tidbits specially made from fish, liver, meal, and cereal. The foods and flavors cats and kittens just can't resist. There's nothing funny. The cat about yummies are nourishing, too, and good for your pet. Towing 24 with 10 bits in the 50s, they were on a photo Michaela Peterson diet, or a proto Michaela Peterson diet, where it was either meat or processed trash, nothing else. I mean, I'm eating Hot Pockets, although that's probably more prone to give you diarrhea than constipation. So. Veterinarian approved and made without sugar, they give your cat the extra vitamins and minerals between meals that will make him more playful, more frolicsome, and more fun as a pet. So be nice to your pet in the nicest way of all. Keep a package of Heart Mountain Cat Yummies on hand always. And say, if you have a dog, remember him. It makes it, it's a little funny to think about, but like, I like that the focus of this cat food ad is like, give it to your cat. They'll be more fun to play with as a cat. You know, the object you own. Whereas like a pet food ad in 2020 is more about like, keep your pet healthy because you care about them. It's a subtle difference, but it's there. Between meals with Heart Mountain Dog Yummy, the candy-like treat that all dogs love. Look for Heart Mountain Dog Yummies and new Heart Mountain Cat Yummies in the bright orange packages, wherever pet products are sold. Made only by Heart Mountain. There's nothing funny about the tools of capitalism. Ed, you got me a nice lady here to visit with. I want to thank you. How do you feel, Viva? Good. Bert? Right. B-I-R- 74, Quinn, 74 with 100 bits. Well, I got to get back to work, but I can be back in a few hours. Love There's you. Funny Love from your neighbor, uh, Milwaukee. Well, thank you. Logar of the 10 bits. Hearts was the company that recently had to recall cat and dog food because of an additive was killing them. I guess don't buy that brand. C.H. Well, that's nice. Where are you from, Ed, Eva? Yeah, you lived there all your life? Oh, 13 years. Were you born around here? MMO Addicted has some sort of study. Civilization in the colon, constipation and the disease There's of diseases. The, the, the publication in April 2000 of the results of a clinical trial that found high fiber cereals had no protective effect against col colorectal, oh god, adenomas, stirred up considerable media attention and shook a cherished tenet of popular health culture. After all, um, boxes of all brand have been assured us for nearly two decades, decades that they contain at least some news about cancer you can live with. And the manufacturers of high fiber cereals have enjoyed unprecedented profits thanks to the assumption that their products provide insurance against colon cancer. I guess I've never looked at like brand flakes and thought, yeah, that'll help me not get colon cancer, but I don't know. Very. <laughs> What's up? Frame them here. Yeah. <laughs> Upgrade your pet with our new pet food. It's the DLC of the animal world. And what's Mr. Bird to do up there in San Bernardino? Yeah, we're doing um, Christmas saves at uh, around 8, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you sell? Well, they try to sell money. There's nothing but funny people don't seem it. to have it's it now to sell. <laughs> oh, he's an investment broker without any brokering, huh? How about children? I have two. Good for you. How old are they? Uh, 13 and 5. Well, that's just wonderful. Now, Ms. Burke, I think you'd wish I had something to do with one of the children, or both. Yes, my boy. Yeah, what's his name? John Vernon. Old John? What's the matter with old John? Well, he's crippled up with cerebral palsy. Is that so? Yes, sir. And he's uh, now how old? Thirteen? Thirteen. Yeah, he's had it quite a while. How can we help John? Well, he needs a wheelchair and he needs a special bike to exercise him. Yeah. This woman is on this game show to win a wheelchair for her child with cerebral palsy. And she might not win. Scroll further down for the commercials, they're disturbing. Okay. Let me take a look. I'm imagining Hans Worm hat watching this and trying to transvestigate people and being like, this person's only 30 years old, but they look like they're 60. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bowel bloat? Oh no. That's gross. This person is so stuffed with poop, it's literally coming out of their mouth, and that's absolutely disgusting. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, huh. Sure. Sure, they're rectal dilators. I mean, they are, technically. 
<laughs> Jesus. Ridiculous. Had you promised him this by any chance? Yes, I had. Well, why didn't you keep your promises, Ma? Well, I had to go to the hospital and have my legs operated on, had to quit working. And... What were you doing? Wait this work. Oh, boy. <laughs> 25 <laughs> that... years, I <laughs> 25 years, and that did it to your legs. Sure did. did you work up in San Bernardino? Yes. Mm -hmm. And now you have to take it a little easier yourself. Well, I can't work. I'd sure keep my promise. <laughs> that you would keep your promise. Now, he's a 13-year-old boy, then he wants... Do you want a sort of a special bike? Uh... Well, he needs it for exercising his legs. He's had quite a lot of surgery done, and yeah. they, they uh, require exercise. You bet your life. And a special wheelchair, and a, yeah. and a special bike, and a wheelchair. You have to stay home all the time. You <laughs> bet your life. Now, the other child okay? Oh, she's fine. That's great. You got one that... MMO addicted with 10 bits. Uh, honey, it's not like that, Jerry. Was just helping with my constipation. <laughs> Needs a little special help. And if you're Vera Birch, Viva Birch, if you're our queen, we're going to get a wheelchair and a special bike, okay? Thank you. You keep well yourself. Goodbye, Viva. This show is so gross. Thank you very much. <laughs> you need a little help there with that boy. You know... We try to see that our queens get in on as many firsts as they possibly can, and believe you me, there's a dandy in store for today's royal lady. In fact, she'll have her own private screening of one of the most spectacular motion pictures ever made. The picture is Spartacus, the dramatic story of history's first freedom fighter. I just want my kid to have a wheelchair. We're going to get you to see Spartacus. Starring Kirk Douglas, Laurence Olivier, Gene Simmons, Charles Lawton, Peter Ustinoff, John Cavan, and Tony Curtis. And like I said before, our queen today will have her own personal preview. And now before we meet candidate number two, why don't you watch this? <laughs> this coffee will help us with our constipation. <laughs> Every ad is just an ad for people who are constipated. I ain't got the pleasure. A coffee break makes the moment right. Fresh aroma, friendly flavor. Make it coffee, make it often, make it right. To brighten any moment, make it coffee. This enjoy. episode just says 1950s. It doesn't have a direct date on it, so I'm actually not sure. It just says 1950s. That fresh aroma. Make it often. Make it up fresh each time in a clean container and for full flavor. Make it right. And here's how. For each cup of... Thank you, Baja. Fresh drawn water, use one approved measure of your favorite coffee. That's all, one approved measure per cup. Satisfying cups of pleasure. A coffee break makes the moment right. Fresh aroma. Friendly flavor. Does smoking a bunch of cigarettes make you constipated? Because people were smoking constantly back then. So maybe they had to drink a ton of coffee and take a bunch of laxatives to counteract the seven cigarettes they would smoke a day. Am I eating Hot Pockets? Yes. I haven't had a chance to eat lunch yet. <laughs> now look who we've got here. you got a nice smile, and you and I know something a lot of other people know that the audience don't know about you. But we That's better right. find out who you are first. Kay McGrath? That's right. Where's your home? Canoga Park. And you uh, and Miss McGrath lived there Disco Misty, while? thank you for uh, following. Nine years we've been married. Good for you. Smoking actually has a laxative effect. Why did people in the 50s have such tr trouble pooping then? What is happening? Now, you turn around and tell everybody what just happened a couple, three months ago at your house. Well, we have uh, uh, baby triplet girls. <laughs> Triplets. And how many children did you have before the three got here? Uh, four others. So uh, it's four and three, seven. That's right. I hope that's a lucky seven for you. What does Mr. McGrath do? Uh, he's a carpenter maintenance uh, man for the Board of Education. He's a sawer and a hammer. Yes. And he comes home with dirty overhauls and a big appetite. Yes, and he's up all night, too. <laughs> now, with the triplets, I think the whole family's up. Pretty much so. Yeah. Now, how are the little fellas? Are they identical trio, uh, triplets? Well, we have been told that they will be. Yeah. Of course, Bonnie is a little behind because she was in the children's hospital for two months. Oh, one of them had to stay behind. Yes. She's a little slower. 
That's right. I have her home with me now. Good. And then she's scheduled to go back in in six weeks when we have her up. About six weeks when we have her up. There's nothing funny pounds. about the yeah. How much did the little fellas weigh when they got here? Well, one was three three <laughs> and uh, three fourteen and a half, and Bonnie was five nine. She was my biggest. MMO addicted with 10 bits, bad diets in part, but also it was an easy way to shill needles merchandise. You don't have waterfalls. You clearly are constipated. These meds were easy to prove they work, so people took them. <laughs> okay. One. And she's the one that's been kind of sick. That's right. Now are the girls or boys? They're all girls. All three girls. That's right. I'll bet old dad's down there strutting around. I should say. There's nothing funny about the two. Well, let me ask you this now. If you're like the queen for... That guy knows nothing about triplets because he asked, are they identical? And she said, they will be, which is a weird qualifier. I, I, I think she took it as like, are they, do they look exactly the same? Whereas identical twins, it's like, it's a kind of twin. You either are identical twins or you're not. It's identical or fraternal and they're triplets. So from her answer, I would guess they are identical triplets. And then the guy said, are they all girls? If they're identical, the chances are they're, they're all girls. There are edge cases where th different things can happen, but 99% of the time, yeah. Good day. Uh, Tom G. 101. 00110101. Thank you for, excuse me, subscribing, and says, Happy subversary, Hannah. You're the only sub I can afford on my own <laughs> until probably March, but you're worth it. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the show. Uh, you can't go on a trip, I don't suppose. What would you like? Well, I would like diaper service. Uh, <laughs> Are any of the other kids still in diapers? Well, my two-year-old isn't completely trained. Uh-huh. Uh, we're working on it, though. So. <laughs> Slow but sure. That's right. And along comes the three. She wants a diaper service. What a diaper service is, if you don't know. Back in the day when um, cloth diapers were the standard, disposable diapers didn't exist yet, you could um, hire a service instead of washing, you know, um, the diapers in your own laundry and stuff. You could hire a service that would come and pick up the dirty cloth diapers and uh, go wash them and bring them back. And that's a lot of diapers, Ma. It is, and Bonnie requires special care for a while. All right. And we hope it'll be over in six weeks. It seems like you could use a few extra minutes yourself uh, with these that's, children. That's the idea. <laughs> but you're like, well, if you're like the queen, diaper service you get for the uh, triplets and the... Uh, and uh, good luck with you now, and take There's care of that other one. Huh? Thank, sure. Thank you. I'm rooting for the wheelchair woman so far. Um, MMO addicted with 10 bits. There was also an eating problem with processed food and people eating too fast. They even did PSAs about this. Oh, boy. Let me pull up that PSA. I do enjoy some good, good old-fashioned PSAs. We can watch this after the uh, episode. That's your life. Tell us about Her Majesty's royal wardrobe. It's our own first lady of fashion. Diapers suck, but she doesn't deserve to win compared to the lady who needs a wheelchair. That's what I hate about this show. It makes me take sides when really they should get help with all of these things. It would be, because like the show, if you didn't watch the first episode that we watched together a week ago, the show doesn't just give the person who wins the thing they asked for. They also give them like a new washer dryer, uh, a trip like somewhere. They give them a bunch of uh, uh, electronics and, and devices and stuff. And honestly, if they just gave every single contestant the thing they asked for, it would probably cost the same. It's it's maddening watching this show unfold. There's nothing Dick. funny about the tools of capital. Daddy Sume with 10 bits. Oh God, this is really depressing. I can't watch this. I'll see y'all later. Send me a message when we're on something a little less soul crushing. I can watch a podcast on engineering disasters and not feel much, but this is just agonizing. <laughs> All right, hope you come back when we're done. That's uh, right here. That's Gene there. There's nothing funny Hello, about Gene. Hello, Dad. Thank you. Colors as rich and exciting as a Persian tapestry lending in the... Oh, an exotic touch to our fashion today. <laughs> MMO addicted with 10 bits. I mean, the U.S. healthcare is a GoFundMe-based popularity contest where if you lose, you die. True. And each is from one of the famous designers allowed to our queen. For instance, a gaily printed belt sparks the deep olive of the shirtwaist of my servant in Miami. The slim line is emphasized by a twin row of buttons and baby doll sleeves. Her Majesty will travel in beauty anywhere with this quick tripper of cosmetics in the individualized studios of Merle Norman, including this creamy, smooth powder base. 
Belle sleeves, outlined in black, add interest to this cardigan neck dress. Marjorie Montgomery of California. I don't care about this dress. You style a black and white tweed with a flaring gourd skirt. Now, Royal Lady's watch combines lifetime accuracy with timeless beauty. This show is like 60% ads. Diamond slash from the tiny crowns of the Queen for a Day by Hellbrook. Nodis of Dallas chose antique gold tones for this slim skirt and belted jerkin. Note the pockets on the full peplum. And with it, jewel tones of red and black in a horizontally striped jersey. There are styles for every occasion in the lovely shoes by Grace Walker, and Her Majesty will have a whole array, each pair fit for a queen. Persian shades of olive and mustard form the batik print of this charming poncho, and like all our queen's blouses from Ship and Shore, this cotton needs little or no There's ironing. Nothing funny about the tools there are delicate colors to rival an oriental print and the pairs and pairs of lovely nylons. Gotta work that big laxative shaft for the sponsorship, Anna. Yeah, X-Lax, please uh, sponsor me. I'm, I'm, I'm not even, you know, I'm not a great candidate. I have diarrhea more often than I have constipation, so. For afternoon into evening charm, Abe Rhinus fashioned this suit of black wool. The swim skirt is top. Which definitely isn't too much information. You're welcome. Up by a brief jacket piped in ebony satin. Flashing rhinestones set in silvery starburst form this delicate threesome from Sarah Coventry. <clears throat> you lend a hint of stardust to your favorite ensemble. White satin gleams under gold. Okay, I'm skipping this stupid Rosette. stuff. Who cares? <laughs> Woohoo Lulu, thank you for subscribing with Prime. MMO addicted with 10 bits, you mean you aren't the new official hot mascot of Hot Pockets? <laughs> I should be. Uh, Querulous Artisan with 10 bits, this is more numbing than the mortgages I have to check through every weekday. Constipation can be a problem. Ah, there it is again! Why? Why did these people have There's such clogged up poopers? For anyone. And when constipation occurs, it's interesting to see just what doctors consider important about a laxative they might use or recommend. Well, a majority of the doctors we heard from said they wanted a laxative that is effective, gentle, close to natural acting. A medicine that can be used with complete confidence. Now, X-Lax has been used with complete confidence by many doctors and millions of people over the years because... Pleasant tasting chocolate and X Lax is effective. Overnight, it helps you toward your normal regularity. X Lax is so gentle, so close to natural acting, there's no upset, no discomfort. So, whenever your normal regularity is interrupted, you can rely on X Lax, the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity, gently, overnight. X Lax. Now we're going to talk candidate number three. I'm glad to see you. And I'm, I hope There's you're not too shook up about being here. Capitalism. How do you spell your... Is that list of desirable traits and laxatives, or is it in a constipation relief assistant? First name? Marguerite. M-A-R-G-U-E-R-I-T-E. I wish you could see... Thanks for spelling it. I do... Her glasses are interesting. The way that Tom, our boy secretary, spelled that. Your last name is Sokin. That's right. Where do you live, Miss Sokin? I live in Van Nuys. Were you born around here? No, I was born in Minnesota. Yeah? What town? Minneapolis. Well, we're from uh, the St. Paul Winter Carnival, a lot of us. We were out there. That's a big thing. Wonderful. Yeah. How do you it. like it out here? You I like it. You glad you come out? Yes, sir, I am. It's not as cold in the winter. No, that's right. Boy, George, yeah. Say, Mrs. Sokin, let's get right into what you want, and most especially why. And uh, you've got a good reason for being here. What, do you, what would you like if you're queen for a day? I would like to have a vacation, which I haven't That's right, had. Capitalistic because propaganda. I had two handicapped sons. I lost them, and then I took care of an elderly lady in a wheelchair. She passed away. My mother and my father, and one month after my father, my husband passed away. Is that... And I feel that I would like to have a vacation, which yeah. I haven't been able to have because I have to work. All your life seems like your, your adult life you've been taking care of people. That's right, I have. I'm awfully sorry about and I believe, too, that your husband has passed away. That's right. As I told Mrs. Dolly Sutter, Ryder, before the Dolly thank you for following. Repeat, <laughs> there is nobody had more bad luck than you have. And may I say one thing on our show, which uh, we don't often say, but There's you told that, and that was a hard for yourself, and you must have a wonderful, wonderful spirit. And... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm still going with a person who needs a wheelchair for their, their kid. 
Like, I, I feel bad for this lady. She lost her kids who were, like, disabled. But also, the, the other person needs it for their kid who's alive and needs a wheelchair. Little Johnny needs a wheelchair! And we don't want to do anything to shatter that. Bumble Homestead with 100 bits. Is it just the COVID isolation speaking, or is he standing uncomfortably close to her? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Now, where would you like to go? Just uh, just get away and take a vacation and have a trip and uh, forget all of it and then start all over again, right? That's right. I don't care just so I could get away. That's the main thing, and we'll just take care of that. And uh, if you're elected our queen, you get your satchels packed and your lunch. No. No, we'll take care of that. We'll send you someplace where they'll feed you, okay? Thank you. Well, thank you, and uh, lots of good luck to you, Mr. I think it was just the angle made it look like he was closer to her than he actually was. <laughs> must be a very brave lady. Go there with old Ed. She's a brave lady. The crown is all ready. We need only a queen. So part two of our show will now convene. Brought to you by Arrestin, the new all-family cough medicine by Johnson & Johnson. I swear to God, when they said Arrestin, my first thought was, it, it's to counter all the laxatives. It's some medication for when you take too many laxatives. It'll slow things up. <laughs> Daily's Laundry Twins and new Super Sarlacc, the new non-fat dry milk. Made by the same people who make X-Lax. We're playing both sides. We can't lose. That's now homogenized smooth. And now before we meet our final candidate, let's meet two of America's best love personalities, Elsie the Borden Cow and her spouse, Elmer. Elmer, is it on the front page? Where are the headlines about new Super Starlax, Borden's new non-fat dry milk? Does it say Super Starlax now homogenized smooth? Homogenized smooth. That's right, homogenized smooth for faster dissolving, for fresher flavor. If this show didn't have ads, it would be two minutes long. It would be, what do you want? Oh, my kid needs a wheelchair. What do you want? Oh, my dad has cancer. We want to go to Disneyland. Oh, what do you want? And then everyone would vote, and it would be a two-minute show. Let's reboot this on YouTube. It'll be two minutes, and at the end, everyone gets what they want. <laughs> There's nothing funny about the tools of capitalism. MMO addicted with 10 bits. Oh god, I zoomed in and started to read that rectal dilator article and it's gold. The object of the treatment is to stretch or dilate the rectal muscles more than they have been accustomed to and to a point where it causes some momentary pain or thrill. The pain <laughs> or on insertion may be relieved by the use of Dr. Young's pillament, which is recommended uh, as the most satisfactory and convenient lubricant. Picture. Yes, announcing Borden's brand new milk discovery, new Super Starlack. It's as smooth as homogenized for faster... Sushi Mom, I hate this cow with an undying rage. Do you know how many times I got teased with this because my name is Elsie? Did this ad campaign continue until much later? Resolving. Yeah. I've never heard of this cow before. I hardly have to stir, and there are no pasty lumps either. Homogenized smooth <laughs> also means fresher flavor. Real country fresh flavor. What? Well, good. Sure, the true milk flavor you'd expect from Borden's. And new Super Starlack costs only about nine cents a quart. So for faster dissolving, for fresher flavor, try all new Super Star. I've had never had powdered milk. I have a feeling it's not farm fresh tasting. Starlack, Borden's. Whatever that even means. <laughs> new non-fat dry milk that's now. Um it's not, I mean, it's not fake. It's just, I think it's dehydrated milk that you mix with water and then it, you know, it reconstitutes more or less. <laughs> Marginized smooth. It is news. Hey, remember something. That Borden Starlack, huh? It's not only new, but it's downright delicious. That's Iowa for delicious. I know, Red, I just said to Red a few minutes ago, if you'd have stayed home and finished the dishes, you wouldn't have been in this mess. How are you feeling, Red? <laughs> Arlene Harding? Yes, that's right. Tell us where you live, please. Uh, 5925 North Whitnall Highway, North Hollywood. <laughs> well, that's great. We had everything but the phone number. And what's Mr. Harding do? Well, he's a machinist. Yeah, you got children, haven't you? Oh, I sure do. How many boys? I have three boys. And one girl? Yes, that's right. Is the girl home with you? Yeah, she's a nurse. Wonderful. Say, now, but you're proud of her. Well, I sure am. What do the boys do? Well, I have two wonderful sons that are in the Navy. One's a petty officer. He's a career man. He's been there five years already. Good for him. He has jumped 
parachute. Oh, brother, he's yeah. doing it the hard way. Yeah, down in the middle of the desert now, Centro. In the Navy? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, dear, now what's happened to the Navy? They're over in the desert. Well, one is not at my house, is it? Yeah, now that has something to do with your wish, hasn't it? Yes, they're up in San Diego. I have another son that's... Uh, Baron Trump just tested positive for coronavirus? Ugh. That poor kid. He's on the... Uh, he was at Lexington. Yeah. And, um... Chris, when they're in... Now they're in, too, you know. <laughs> so every weekend I have uh, quite a lot of sailors in my house. Now what do you want if you're queen for a day? I don't mind feeding them good, keeping the refrigerator full well, and, you know, doing everything to make them happy, but I feel very uncomfortable when they sleep about four in a bed, you know, and yeah. <laughs> sleep in bags. And yeah. Then my one friend in high school, he brought home a couple of his friends, so they slept in the garage that night. <laughs> How many guys have you got there at night over the weekend? Well, just quite a few, I'll tell yeah. you. And, uh, see, what, my one friend never knows how many of the other ones going to bring home, so, you know, they don't like to, uh, they, they know what it's like to be away from home and sure. not have anything to do on the weekend, so. So you need some help, but isn't that a, a wonderful feeling in your heart that your boys yeah. will bring those guys home? Oh, you, that, that's the most important thing. You bet your life. And you need some, as you said on your card, bunking equipment, huh? Yes, something. Oh, God. Okay. So her kids who are in the military will sometimes come home on shore leave or whatever. <laughs> in california and they will bring with them other people from they're in the at least one of them's in the navy one i think is a paratrooper they'll bring home other people and she needs bunk beds to house the other people who are in the military what i hate this oh my god MMO addicted with 50 bits. Oh, God. Some conservatives, quote, gay sex will ruin your a-hole. Dr. Young, a man of learning, try to use the dilators each day. Their regular use tends to tone and strengthen the muscles. Also, quote, when using a larger size. For next use, the smaller size for a few minutes, inserting and withdrawing it several times. This is very beneficial and should not be overlooked. Yeah, the, uh, the dilators are pretty funny. Like we'll get you some hammocks and some of those uh, stacked up beds. And, oh. and Isn't this against an amendment? Well, she's doing it consensually. You can house troops whenever you want. You just can't be forced. I forget which amendment it is. I forget. It's the one. I think it's the third. Is it the third amendment where you don't have to quarter troops? But you can do so if you'd like. <laughs> Folding bed? It won't be wonderful. Maybe a few of the big cook pots, too, because they get, you know, they're not quite large enough. All right, so you can cook a lot of beans. You've got to be a great mother, and I'll bet you are a, a wonderful house mother when those guys are there. And we're going to take care of those boys for you if you're elected our queen, okay? Well, thank you very much. Keep yeah. the Navy sailing. We need them. Thank you very much, Arlene Harding. <laughs> you bet you. You got something to say there? Yes, I have, Jack. When are you going to say it? Right now. Is every this day... minute? Yes, sir. Well, we why, have... why don't you say it? Stop trying to. Oh, you're going to say it now. Okay, That's right. the boy. Today is every day. We have gifts not only for our queen, but for every lady interviewed. Yep. First, the West Bend Automatic Griddle and Server Jumbo Size. At least in this episode, they're giving the losers a consolation prize. In the other one, they didn't even give them that. With over 200 inches of cooking area, there's plenty of room to prepare two or three foods at once. Baron tested positive, exhibited no symptoms, and is now tested negative. Okay. He doesn't deserve to suffer for his father's abject incompetence and <laughs> sociopathy. And each lady will also receive this beautiful Hamilton Beach food converter. One powerful motor operates all three appliances, can opener, salad maker, and meat grinder. Don't drop it. And all Hamilton Beach custom appliances what? are guaranteed for five oh. years. There you go. Now, our candidate will... Poor kid. She didn't know when to walk away. Enjoy brighter floors with less work, too, thanks to this new life. What are the pla our plans for the 31st? We're going to be doing a, a Halloween spooky stream. Lightweight Hoover floor polisher. It will scrub wax and polish as well as beautifully dry, clean, and wet shampoo, carpets, and rugs. <laughs> and for our candidate's very personal pleasure... A gift of France's greatest and most exciting perfume, Fame by Corday. I thought it was going to be more laxative. Anything now I'm just primed to see laxative everywhere. ...can happen when you wear Fame. And now before we have the final voting, here's a word from another gentleman who has something to say. Hello, I'm Wynne Foreman. This is new Arrest and Cough Medicine by Johnson & Johnson. It's a small bottle. And it there is not bingo for this, no. It costs a little more than ordinary cough medicine. 
Here's one. Although that would be Many good. Medicine simply don't. <laughs> Laxatives could be a space. Oh, yeah. Contain an No, we don't have a bingo card for this though. Many others contain narcotics, but narcotics limit the amount you can safely take, therefore limit the effectiveness. Well, Arrestin has a new medical cough suppressor. That's why you just take you just take as much as you want until you Demothorphin pass out. Demothorphin is non-narcotic, <laughs> therefore safer, especially for children. And because Demothorphin is so safe, it can be used in greater amounts. That's why there's more safe cough suppressant in Arrestin than in any leading cough preparation. In fact, this little bottle contains more safe cough relief than ever before possible without prescription. It's as simple as that. Buy the little bottle that stops big coughs. You are rest and cough medicine by Johnson & Johnson. Now you've heard each of our royal candidates, so we're gonna have the voting, and we'll have a queen here just before you know it. Number one was Mrs. Viva Birch. Mrs. Birch has a boy who's 13, and he has cerebral palsy. She would like a wheelchair and a special bike for him. She was working, but it's There's nothing funny her. about she had a little operation for that. She'd like a wheelchair and a Emma addicted with 50 bits, last one. If used before resting, they'll be found a promoter of more refreshing sleep. My insomnia will be cured by a good dilating. <laughs> special bike. Your applause for candidate number one. Oh, oh, good. She's. I think she's gonna win. It's the. You know, the needles. They're burying the needle on this one. Please let the wheelchair person win. Uh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Number two is Mrs. K. McGrath. Mrs. McGrath had four children, and all of a sudden, she had triplets. They, uh, what if multiple people bury the needle? Like, what if people, like, just clap multiple times? I don't know if they're not supposed to do that or what. One little girl is a little, takes some special care. She's back home. This show should be retitled, Watch Three People Have Their Hopes Rendered and Ripped From Them. <laughs> At the whims of an audience in 1950s California. I have to go back, and in order to get more time, she would like some diaper service for her triplets. Number two. <laughs> Number three, Mrs. Margarita Sulka. Most of her Woman who needs a wheelchair for her kids still people. winning. She took care of a lady for a living. She lost two sons and her husband and her mother. And she would like just to take a vacation and get away from the whole thing and start again. Number three. Okay. Well, I, I'm pretty boy, sure Mrs. woman who, who needs wheelchair for her kid's Navy, gonna win. And they got a lot of buddies they bring home and Ma has a good time for them, but she's running out of sleeping space. She would like, as she says, bunking equipment. Number four. Ooh, barely. Number one. Number one is Zoom in so we don't have to see the other women cry. Zoom in. <laughs> Zoom in. Viva Birch. Well, Mrs. Birch, you come right up here and get the crown because, by golly, you're going to be the queen just as sure as shooting a Mary Ann. I'm so proud you got out. Yeah, she's almost crying. She's almost crying. Guys. Guys. America. Here and did the something right. That's nice of you, Duchess. And now for the most thrilling moment of all, I crown you Queen Viva. Queen for a day! Queen Viva Bert! <laughs> now, Your Majesty, if you just take your place up there on the throne, here comes the Duchess with your first gift, the Queen's bouquet of four dozen brilliant coronation red roses from our royal florist, Carl's of Hollywood. Now the moment is here when Queen for a day is happy to make your wish come true. We're going to see that that boy of yours has exactly the kind of bicycle he needs to provide that all-important exercise. And for the wheelchair, hey, we'll go to the famous Everston Jennings Company and order one of their sturdy folding Everston Jennings chairs, and you just can't get a better one than that. And there's a sample of it right there. Like, do they know who's going to... Like, there was a, a game show fixing scandal in the 50s where it turned out a lot of game shows are rigged. I don't know if this was caught up in it or not. But, like, behind the scenes, if they don't know who's going to win, do they also have, like, a thing for the vacation or a thing for the bunk beds or a th You know what I mean? Because if they already have them, just give them to the people. Thank you much for your wish, Your Majesty. You'll also be going on a royal whirl of Hollywood with stops at such glamorous places as the Brown Derby for lunch with the movie and television stars, a personalized tour of Universal International Studios, dinner in the elegant splendor of the plush sportsman's lodge, and finally... 
The Late Show at the Crescendo, starring Bob Newhart. You know, Baker, that's only the beginning. Really? Yes. You see, she's queen. Oh, that's right. That's why she's on the phone. I don't want you to forget stuff like that. And we have a lot of gifts. And here they start, beginning with this amazing new Revere still camera. Now, the camera that does all the thinking for you. In the episodes I've seen of this, too, both of the contestants that won, once they're sitting on this chair and they're showing them all the, like, superfluous prizes of gadgets and cameras and cats and stuff, they don't give a shit. They do not care about this stuff. This is all just ads for these products. They're just happy that they got, like, the wheelchair or whatever. It looks like in their face even they know how messed up this is. Like, it feels like an episode of Black Mirror, and they, like, know how messed up this is, but they gotta go along with it because they need the thing. Automatically is yours, and with the Revere, all you have to do is aim at something, and uh, the lens and uh, is all set for you, and then just click her, and you get a picture. Well, of course, Your Majesty, to go along with your Revere camera, you'll also have this Model 777 Revere projector. It's easy to load and simple to operate. Your Revere will give you amazing theater-like quality. Queen Viva, for instance, you could very well take this same picture when you visit the beautiful Jamaica Inn at Corona Del Mar on an all-expenses-paid weekend vacation. As a matter of fact, we got reservations there for you right now starting this coming Friday. So, Queen Viva, there you go. And incidentally, Your Majesty, why don't you take along this copy of the fabulous Spiegel catalog? Like, she doesn't even look happy. Take it right along with you. And that way, with the enclosed gift certificate, you may choose whatever suits your fancy and There's nothing order funny about the tools of capitalism. MMO addicted with 10 bits. Dance for our amusement, pleb. Dance and cheer and laugh. The makers and target audience of this show, probably. <laughs> Spiegel in Chicago. Now, of course, when that weekend vacation is over... Yeah, they gave her a vacation. Which is what the other woman wanted. Like, can't she just be like, hey, just give that to that lady. She wants a vacation. Give it to her. Oh, you gotta come home, but look what you're coming home to. We have for you a kitchen. Now, look at this thing. On the left are four famous Westinghouse appliances. All four of them right there on one place. And any one of which you'll find a joy to use. What's more, they all operate off the very same motor. And, of course, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. We also know that you'll enjoy using this complete set of handsome club aluminum holiday cookware. Permanently bonded and easy to clean, club aluminum has all the fine cooking qualities that have made it famous for years. Here's a gift that is sure to thrill you. In fact, it may even shock you if you're not careful. Your Majesty, here's your brand new double socket. Ladies are always out of sockets, and I thought... It's just a thing to plug into it. Why did they build that one up? It's you just plug it into your electrical socket, and then it's two sockets. Yeah, yeah. I have I have a lot of those in my house. I might be using one for the computer right now. I'm using one for the light over here too, mostly because I use it as an extension cord. I guess this was a new thing in the '50s, but still. You gotta have a socket. <laughs> of course, on Queen for a day, we don't give things away without a reason. So to make use of your double socket, take a look at what else goes with your socket. In one socket, you can plug in this brand new 100th anniversary model Adler sewing machine. <laughs> Capable of doing all the stitches you're ever likely to need or use. You'll have your choice of cabinets in either lime, oak, walnut, or mahogany. And in the other socket, you can plug in the amazing Waste King Universal Imperial Dishwasher Dryer. Capable of holding a complete 14 place setting, the new Waste King scours every service in both the top and bottom baskets, and best of all, the Waste King Universal goes where you go. Finally, if I'm not mistaken, you said there were, uh, see, two children, you and dad is four in your family, which means uh, four dinners a night. So I'll tell you what, why don't we give you four complete frozen dinners, enough to last you an entire month? But that's not all. Why don't we also give you the perfect place to keep them? And here it is. That, Your Majesty, is your brand new, gorgeous, Rio Floss Amana food freezer. Now it's built to hold over 500 pounds of food thanks to the Amana exclusive store more door. MMO addicted with 10 bits. I wonder if she's allowed to sell them. Sometimes game shows have agreements for bidding it, at least around here. Oh, that's messed up. Amanomatic contact freezing makes it up to two and one half times faster than ordinary freezing. In fact, in your new Amana, Frost never <coughs> forms. Well, Your Majesty, it's all yours. The gift, the wardrobe, your wish come through, everything. And what's more, we'll ensure their safe arrival to you in the amount of 2000 
$550. But we're not through yet. In a moment, we'll add still another surprise. You know, with the help of a ruler and some ordinary household towels, I'm going to give you a simple demonstration right now. Just look at this, will you? The same number of towels in each of these stacks, and yet this stack is a full three inches high. Now, the reason, of course, is that the nice fluffy towels have been rinsed with Stay Puff Laundry Rinse. Stay Puff does away forever with the coarseness and scratch. Is this laundry thing called Stay Puff, like Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? It's caused by too many There's nothing funny about that. No, Stay capitalism. Fluff. That makes more sense. MMO addicted with 10 bits. Real story. Someone once won an expensive car, couldn't afford to pay the tax, wanted to sell it. That caused the car to be taken away from him, and he still had to pay the original taxes. Ugh. Stay Puff to your last rinse water, and you can see and feel the difference as soon as your laundry dries. Carries like this. Fluff up to new life, and so does chenille, woolen sweater. This whole show is just one big ad. This whole show is an ad. I feel very much like cashmere, and even wash hardened corduroy comes out velvety soft. And best of all, many pieces dry so wrinkle free they don't even require iron. Try stay puff. Who irons their towels? Print yourself and see what I mean. Now get either the handy full quart bottle like this. Or the economical half gallon size. Remember, Stay Puff is just. Did clothes come out like super duper wrinkly out of old tiny like washer dryers or something? And you had to iron every single piece of clothing? Guaranteed. Or were people in the 50s psychotic? Or both? To get your washable softer, fluffier, and more wrinkle free or your money back. Pink Stay Puff Laundry Rinse. And now, Your Majesty, here comes the surprise we promised you. It seems that that young son of yours, Morale, could use a little lift about now, so here's what we propose. Every teenager we ever heard of likes music. So you tell your boy to go out to the famous House of Sight and Sound and pick out a hundred dollars worth of his favorite record. Also, tell him to go to any bookstore of his choice and select a hundred dollars worth There's of reading material. About the then for of his sartorial pleasure, he can visit the Harrison Frank store in your neighborhood and select a hundred dollars worth of any kind of clothes he wants. And while we're talking about hundreds, here's another hundred dollars for him to use just any old way he pleases. Congratulations to you and best wishes. That's the only one she reacted to was actual cash. She clearly needs money. And she doesn't give a shit about your washers and dryers and fridges and frozen meals and vacation. No, it she just wants money. God. MMO addicted with 10 bits. Yes, they did come out more wrinkly. Also, I'm now researching to see if Dr. Young's patented interfered with the production or sale of dildos in the U.S. Now, for a thrilling ring. Ha ha! Make everybody have now. Take everything to buy. Think we wish we could make every lady to America sweet for every single day. Let me see what this says. Oh, God, I can't get rid of the thing. Uh, hey. Products mentioned are paid for by the manufacturer or supplier of the products identified on this program. Yeah, no kidding. Sponsored content warning from the 50s. Antipodian squid, the way clothes were made, they came out super wrinkly. It's more what clothing was made of than the washers and dryers. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Stay tuned for about faces. Next for the most of these faces. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I hate this show. I hate it so much.